Hey guys, it's Matt, welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at post processing and how to turn each of those effects on or off. You might want to do this with a button, with a key press, with a settings menu, which in a lot of games you, like in here in my scene, you could turn ambient occlusion on or off, or maybe it's to change in color grading, motion blur, to be able to disable these things that you might commonly do. So if you need to get any of these post-processing effects, you and I'm in Unity 2019.4, and this will work in any version above. So you can go Window, Package Manager, and if you go to Unity Registry and type in post-processing, you will get it and you can just install this. And make sure you click on your camera and add a post-process layer, and then add a post-processing volume as well to a different object. When you've got that, you can control the post-processing effects, and I do have a video talking about all the different post-processing effects, and I'll put it in the description. So you can get this script that I'm going to show you on my Patreon if you want to access it, and I will be making a massive pack of UI examples of how to turn off every single instance of the different settings on each of the post-processing effects, and that will be out as soon as I have it. So what you need to do to do this is, as long as you've got your post-processing effects added, you can right-click in your project panel, go Create, C sharp. I'm just going to call this post processing controller. We're going to open up in Visual Studio. We're going to get rid of our starting methods. We need to use a namespace so we can actually access the post processing. So we can say using unity engine dot rendering dot post processing with a semicolon on the end. And then we need to reference our post process volume, which controls all of our post processing effects. So we can go square bracket serialized field private post process volume i'm just going to have this variable as called underscore post process volume so another difference and then we want to reference a variable of which post processing effect we want to be able to change disable or do anything to so we can say private ambient occlusion and i'm going to send this to underscore ambient occlusion you can choose other ones so you can be private bloom same thing or you can do color grading whichever the post processing you want to use now we want to initialize the variable that we've created from an occlusion to be able to show that we can find it. So we'll say private void start. Then we're going to say underscore pros process volume. So the variable that we just created dot profile dot try get settings. And then in brackets, we're going to say out. And then we're going to say underscore ambient occlusion, which was that variable we created there too. So this just allows us to get the profile and get the settings from the ambient occlusion. So now we've got that from start, we can use this any way we want. So I'm just gonna do this on a checkbox. So when the checkbox changes, we can do uh, turning it on and off essentially. So we can say public void ambient occlusion on off. This is just my variable name. And I'm just gonna call this Boolean and I'll just call this value and then I'll add two curly brackets below. So we're just gonna pass a parameter in because a checkbox is true or false. So a boolean is just true or false. So then we're gonna say that ambient occlusion, which was that variable we just initialized, do dot active is equal to whatever the value of the checkbox is, true or false, because all we need to do to disable processing effects is do dot active equals true to make it active or false to make it false. So it's as simple as that. Now we can save it and go back into Unity. And in my case, I've just got a quick UI, which I've just got a checkbox, which is a default Unity checkbox. You can right click UI and create a toggle. And if I click on the toggle, you can see that we've got a runtime event. Make sure you click add. I'm going to add my post processing controller script. It's looking for a post processing volume. So we can just drop that straight in. Now it's looking for an object. We can just add that script to it. We can go on the function selection, go to post processing controller and choose our dynamic bool, which is on ambient occlusion on and off. So depending when this is on or off, it will do the change. When we play now, you can see that my ambient occlusion, you can see the dark areas around objects that touch each other. Now, if we press untick, you can see that the ambient occlusion now disappears. If you watch on this option and this option, there you go. You can see on and off works just like that. And this can work with any different post processing effect that you may have and to be able to change off bloom, chromatic aberration, depth of field, anything that you may want. So be sure to let me know if you have any opinions on this, how to make it better, or if anything you don't understand, comment down below and I'll try and help you out. You can check this out on my Patreon. I'll put the script up there. You can check out all the rest of my scripts, projects, and everything else that's on there. You can come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Do check out my great assets on the Unity store and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.